YouTube, YouTube. This is another one, man. Since since a lot of new drivers will be going to a company that have a Qualcomm, and also since they're talking about everybody going to Qualcomm at the end of the year, I decided to just give you a quick overview of what the Qualcomm look like and some of the things you could expect to see on the Qualcomm. Now this is a home screen. Once you log in, once you log in, the company will give you a login. You have like um, you log in with your driver ID or your driver code, and um, sometimes the last last for your social or whatever the password they assign you. Now some companies you gotta put a four in front of your driver code then the last for your social some companies you gotta put your driver code and 10 in four in front of your last four but once you log into the Qualcomm and the way you log in you go to driver login and right here once you go to driver login I'm already logged in so that's why it's showing active but if I wasn't logged in, that's where you would go and log in, put in your driver code and your password, and they'll bring you to this screen right here. Now, if you're running team, it will be two person on the screen right here, two driver. One will be active, the other would be inactive. And then whenever you switch drivers, the other driver will become active, and so forth. And the way you switch drivers, you go to change. And that's where you'll be able to switch. The other person will be able to log in. If you ever get lost browsing around the Qualcomm, just go back to home and it bring you back to the home screen. 